Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name's Lumen and today we are having a look at the day before. I'm giddy with excitement for this one. <laughs> I've been waiting for this game. I don't know why I've been waiting for this game, but I've been waiting for this game for so many years. This game has been delayed and delayed and delayed and the development was halted, then it was started, then it was transferred to a new team and then it was started again and it was halted again and like the most storied development of any game ever and it's finally here so for those that don't know here's the steam page blurb the day before offers players a unique reimagined journey into post-apocalyptic open world mmo survival set in the present day on the u.s east coast following a deadly pandemic that's it word for word that's what they put there <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so excited to jump in here. Finally. So, if you'd like to do a deep dive to discover all there's to discover about the day before, please, please, I'll put some links below. Okay? Go check them out. There'll be timestamps as well. But we're going to look at the classes that are available. Okay? Then we're going to look at the male customization. Then we're going to look at the female customization. Alright? Let's do it. Let's jump in. Let's have some fun. First up, personality. Class, Roma. Before the apocalypse, your life was a tough struggle for survival. Just as it is now. You have an impressive character. Passionate and quick-tempered. Although, you're not inclined to hold grudges for long. In the past, you were a Roma and a drunkard. But, with the onset of the apocalypse, you set a goal to change your life for the better. And that's why it's called personality. I got it. Okay, and then you get traits. Alright, alright. Okay, 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 wait. Dial it back, Lumen. This is all right. I actually kind of like the way they've done this. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Your traits are enduring. Weight capacity skills increased by one level. Perceptive. Looting skills increased by one level. Hardened. The automatic rifle recoil control skill. That's a mouthful. Is increased by one level. Okay. 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 I kind of like that. All right. Okay. So uh, basically, I'm going into this blind, by the way. Like, I'm just... I'm going into this completely blind. I'm here to have fun. Pathfinder. Before the apocalypse, you led a typical life, worked a regular job, and were known for your kindness and fairness. Possessing intelligence and hidden leadership qualities, you adhered to the moral principles. However, there's a dark side to you. Your determination and thirst for power can make you act decisively and uncompromisingly, even against your own convictions. Wow. Hmm. I mean, that's quite, that's quite, it's quite a personality. All right, so traits charismatic, trading skills increased by one level, resourceful, your healing skill is increased by one level, and cold-blooded. Wow, that goes with those two? Sniper rifle reload speeds increased by one level. These are some really weird skills. I love it. Next up, we have Ghost. All right. Before the apocalypse, the details of your life remained a mystery, hidden from the eyes of those around you. Your character is complex but harmonious. It combines toughness and ruthlessness with a deep-seated sense of justice and kindness. Damn, that's a roller coaster of emotions right there. You've always been skeptical about authority and laws, and now that the apocalypse has changed the world, you relish the opportunity to act in accordance with your convictions in this new order. Yeah, okay. Wow. Ghost sounds badass. Looks badass too. So, resilient. Stamina skills increased by one level. Tenacious, the injury resistance <laughs> skill <laughs> is increased by one level. Injury resistance, you say? Okay. Trained. The automatic rifle reload speed skill is increased by one level. This is really weird. This is really weird. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then we're back on Roma. So those are the classes. And I'm here for it, dude. You've got Roma, you've got Pathfinder, and you've got Ghost. Now we're going to move on to the customization. I am just going to be jumping in on Roma. It doesn't really matter which one you take. It, it's like sort of deciding your, your starter outfit and the two presets are, are basically going to reset you back to Roma. Which is, it's like, it's like you pick Ghost here, and then you go here and you change the body type, and then you're back on Roma. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. It's like, you... <laughs> Jesus. What if someone doesn't double check? What if they don't double check? Like, what if you don't go back and change? You know? Screw you, I guess. Oh, wow. Look at her. Damn. Okay. Right. Sorry, I'm having fun, guys. 
it just switches you back to Roma. Like, no matter what class you pick over here, it just switches you back to Roma. I guess there's going to be a lot of Romas. When they look at their statistics, they're going to be like, ah, well, there's an unusual number of people that are enjoying the Roma class. <laughs> this must be good game design. Yes. God, okay, 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 okay. So we're going to start with the mail customization. This guy right here. Uh, the first thing we're looking at is the voices. Now, I'm actually going to do the male voices now and then we jump on to female we'll do the female voices then so here we go voices let's check them out all right the first rule is cardio now i get it all right the first rule is cardio now i get it all right the first rule is cardio now i get it all right the first rule is cardio now i get it all right the first rule is cardio now i get it all right the first rule is cardio now i get it yeah i mean nothing to complain about there i guess that's all right the recording is very bassy. I actually kind of like it. It's cool. Yeah, okay. The voices are fine. Voices are nice. Now, you get to pick your face here. Uh, it's probably the most impactful choice you're going to make. And the way this works is you are picking... It's like a, a lot of things. Your ethnicity, the skin tones that you're going to be given, and then the shape and structure of your face, right? So you're going to pick the one you want here. You can see each of them looks a little different. If you click this button right here, it just picks a random one. <laughs> which I, which I, I love. I mean, I don't I like it's like, hey guys, which let's just randomize. And this is the only randomize they have, by the way. There's no random in any of the other stuff. So uh, this is just like, it's just like pops it around. It's like random, you know, it's totally random, guys. The choice here, it's, it's significant because the skin tone that you get, say for instance, on this guy is, is quite a lot lighter. You can be pale, you can be a little tanned. I like that. It's decent for a system. You take this guy, then you can be a little darker and a little less dark you still on the darker side of the skin tone spectrum it looks a little weird because your makeup here is is pretty much set for this guy like your face structure the well the hair the tattoos the beard and stuff it suits this guy's face doesn't so much suit these other guys faces but you get the idea basically so the faces themselves and the way this works they each have each of these faces has their own skin tone set uh, like, you know, this one, as an example, can go a little darker. Uh, the, the lighter tone on this one is not quite as light as the lighter tone on uh, this one. You know? So, basically, this is an important choice. So, pick wisely. We'll go with this dude. The eye color, <laughs> it's a slider, um, but it's it's picking, uh, you know, eye colors. So, like, there's a number of eye colors here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah? The blue is very nice. I, I kind of like how that looks. Uh, let's actually point out the nice parts of this character creation system. They're not entirely based in reality here. In other words, like you get like these these slightly brighter than expected colors. It looks really nice. And uh, honestly, uh, you guys know by now I tend to rate the eyes and I tend to be pretty brutal with the ratings. And this one, it's actually not bad because even when you zoom all the way out, you can still see the color. It's sort of clear. They didn't make the eyes too dark. It's something that devs sometimes do with the models. Well, the artists, I guess, do it with the models. Good eyes. These are nice. These are nice. There's a good selection of colors here. Interesting selection. Fun colors. Cool. Yeah. Boom. I like it. Uh, and that's your, that's your choices for this. When you jump onto skin here, you get to do some more interesting stuff. Uh, first up, we have scars. You'll notice that we have tattoos already. I'm going to take them off quickly and I'll show you what the scars look like. Uh, the scars themselves, yeah, they're interesting. You can't really, as far as I can tell, I can't turn my character. So it's like locked in this position. Uh, the scars look decent. And I mean, like, if you're looking at the overall quality of the face and stuff like that, it also looks all right. Uh, I, I do feel like we lack in a little bit of shading. And if they had to just like double the shading up, if they had to like improve the shading a bit, the model would probably look a hundred times better. It's just missing a little bit of the shading, especially around the hairlines, the beard lines, and stuff like that. Uh, the, uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. The scars themselves, they look pretty okay. Yeah, uh, they look fine. They, they're nicely done. Um, some of them uh, obviously look a little more, you could say, realistic than others. Uh, and, I mean, like the texture work and stuff like that on the scars and, and the brightness of them. And I want to say the realism. I don't, I don't really know how all these scars look exactly in real life, but it looks believable to me. Age slider is an afterthought. I'm just gonna say that. I, 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 it's like, mm, <laughs> yeah, I guess he's a little older, but I mean, this is like looking at, at, at Brad Pitt age, okay? It's not an accurate representation of aging. Yeah? It's not. It's not. Yeah, okay. So it's there, but it's not really doing much. You get some freckles. Uh, the freckles are fine. 
they're fine. I, I tested them on a few different skin types and like, yeah, they look okay. They look okay. They look okay. I would have liked it if we could set sort of the zone, just have the freckles over the snoot, uh, just have them where you want them basically. Uh, but yeah, they're still fine. Uh, moving on then, the tattoos. They, <laughs> they're a mixed bag. They're a bit of a mixed bag. I, you know, like I sat here for a moment before I started recording and I was like, uh, I was trying to place like what the inspiration was for some of this stuff because like I look at some of it and I'm like yeah prison life tattoos and I'm like okay well wait hold on cyberpunk stuff and then I'm like wait 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 are we in greedful now is this like a, a captain sigil or something uh, and then and then you're looking at another one and you're like uh, well I mean is this some tribal stuff uh, I don't know man I don't know I don't know what they were going for here but there are some tattoos and I mean, like, some of them don't look completely terrible, uh, you know, <laughs> some, some of them look okay, and, and that's fine, yeah, it's tattoos. Dude, I don't really care about tattoos, I'm gonna tell you right now, I never use tattoos in games. Uh, you can set the tattoo depth, that's basically the opacity, uh, then you can set the color, it's once again a slider, it's kind of weird. Uh, so, I, I believe that you could probably do some fun and or interesting stuff with these tattoos. There's no white here, uh, which was a little disappointing, but, um... Uh, yeah, I mean you could probably do some fun stuff. I don't, I don't know like I, I feel like they, they they should have just gone the whole hog and added a bunch of different stuff uh, Instead we got like this weird spider-man-y type pattern. We got some barbed wire and we got some words hope angel Yeah, I mean a leaf on the on the, on the butterfly like I don't know man. I don't know, but there you go That's the tattoos makeup. Uh, this was kind of cool. This was kind of cool This to me was the same as tattoos like this is what they should have had in the tattoos. I guess these are like uh, war paint basically you get to do the depth which is the opacity and I kind of like how this reacts This is something that I'm actually quite impressed by like hold on Let's just stop quickly for a second here and can I just say that this right here? I like and this is something that I I feel like I've seen maybe once or twice in my time doing character creation videos This is actually truly quite impressive just the idea of what they went for here Yeah, man the execution could be lacking a little bit because the models don't look amazing or perfect or pristine but I'm sorry, I'm, I'm waffling and I haven't told you what I'm talking about. The way that this is applied as you slide the, the depth up, it's it's actually sort of a, a realistic depiction of adding more paint, you know, more layers. It's like it fades in realistically. And I, I mean, it's a small thing, but I mean, I get to be impressed by small things because the small things like this don't come along very often. Then you get to set the color here. These colors, they are, as far as I know, the same as the other colors that we had. Uh, so tattoos and and makeup the same uh, so I'll pull the slider all the way up here I'll put it on something like black and then let's look at that uh, then these things here I'll, I'll show you how that works in just a moment, but let's look at these other ones first It's a little smudgy on the face there But it's kind of cool that you have some control over it the makeup you can use the metallic and gloss sliders on these same colors But you can do metallic or gloss and personally. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I love the, the look of this. It's like I said in my Baldur's Gate video that this was really good uh, and I've seen it a few times after that already uh, where I, I, I truly just sat here and I thought to myself, yeah, uh, wow. Uh, Pax Day comes to mind. I checked that out kind of recently. Very nice styles that you can do with the metallic look. And if you put metallic and glossy on, in this specifically it kind of ruins the effect for me. But um, if you just do the one, then it looks all right. So I feel like metallic all the way up and then you choose a nice color and it's kind of nice, man. Like it's a, it's a good look and, and like personally, yeah, I'd go for something like that. Definitely above going for something like a, a tattoo in this game. Uh, it's a very nice effect. It's bright. It's vibrant. It's well equipped. Whoever did their makeup here knew what they were doing. So thumbs up to you. If you're watching this video, good job. Good job. You made this not suck. I'm impressed. Thank you. Uh, the lips, this is just basically your, it's very weird, okay, this is the way they did it, basically. You you do the lips, and then you can do the color, so you slide that up, that's the depth, that's the opacity, basically. Then you can choose the color, same colors as the other stuff, okay, so you've got all the same colors here. Oh, no, wait, okay, this is a little different, there's no black here, which is a little disappointing. we got like a light pink there as well. Okay, so they've, actually, it's got the same colors, but they've removed one or two. Uh, so you can choose the colors over here. Then you can do metallic, which once again, I kind of like. It doesn't look as great on the lips, but it's still kind of nice. Uh, and then you can throw the gloss on there too, which once again ruins the metallic, but yeah, there it is. The gloss is just not that impressive. Just give give up on the gloss. Then, finally, we've got the hair options. These are different from the female options. Not quite the same. There are some that cross over, uh, but 
yeah, uh, they are they are their own thing. Males and females don't get all the same styles. And to be honest, I don't I like that they put Billy Joel in here from Green Day. I I don't have much to complain about here. Uh, the the variety is sort of okay. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's like it's fine. There there are some all right styles here. Uh, I feel like. We, we definitely have a lot to choose from here. Uh, basically, all the styles that Jared Leto's had over the course of his career. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the makeup that's making me think that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's take that off quickly. Uh, oh, and the lipstick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Yeah, the hair's okay. It's, it's, let's just say it's nothing to write home about, but it's all right. And my, my complaint with the hair comes in the form of the washed out color that we've got here. Now, I do not know if this is maybe just the character creator that's got some bad lighting once again, but like the hair colors kind of suck. I want to be real with you about that. The eye colors being more impressive than the hair colors is not what I expected to see in this character creator. So uh, yeah, I mean, they could definitely have done a little better with that. Uh, just a little darker, dude, just like, dude, oh my God. Yeah, man. That gamma slider is a little high, the brightness slider is a little high, up the contrast, you're good to go. You can even pull up the saturation a little bit. Artists, if you're still listening, if you're still watching, do that. And then you just click apply and then you've got a much better system. Because these are all like the same. I, I don't know, they just look a little washed out and like the just, just a little dreary, you know. Your facial hair color is separate from the uh, hair color, so you can do them separately if you'd like. And honestly, the beards are good. There's, there's really, I've got nothing to complain about here. Let's just put a short style on. The beards are good. Uh, I mean, I feel like these guys, it's, it's, it's really weird. You don't expect the makeup and then the beards to be good. Because you expect like, if it's makeup, then like maybe someone is good at makeup. Maybe they, maybe they have a nice beard too. I don't know, whatever. You don't expect them to come together. But these beards are nice. Uh, they don't have like super long ones, okay? But like they, they, they do seem to have decent texture work. The, the individual strands look quite nice. The quality on the beard's okay, yeah. It looks good. Like, that's a nice mustache, man. This is, like, this is a handsome dude. I like it. Uh, the color, as I mentioned, uh, I felt like the opacity, not, uh, sorry, the, uh, the contrast was a little higher. Like, the, sort of the clarity on the colors was a little higher. I felt like. It's like, if I take number two there and I take number two here, it, it looks a little better. Now I've made uh, that guy from Mr. Robot. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I just think that. I, I, yeah, I guess I saw him in the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. Anyway, um, sorry, I, I I'm getting distracted. I felt like the, 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 the beards looked a little better, the color on the beards. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly the same, but I just, that's the feeling I had here. So yeah, the facial hair looks nice, and that actually brings us to the end. Uh, you can now click finalize. Just remember to go back and change your class first. <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe it. It's like, yeah, I want to be a Pathfinder, make my whole character up. Wait, wait, I actually, I'd like to be a female. Uh, okay, boom, 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 uh, finalize, whoopsie, I'm a Roma now. <laughs> okay, 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 guys, let's jump onto the female customization now, that's body type A done, we're gonna jump onto body type B, let's have a look what they have, uh, we're starting with the voices, let's do it. Alright, the first rule is cardio, now I get it. Alright, the first rule is cardio, now I get it. Alright, the first rule is cardio, now I get it. Alright, the first rule is cardio, now I get it. All right, the first rule is cardio. Now I get it. All right, the first rule is cardio. Now I get it. All right, there you go. The first rule is cardio, guys. Now I get it. Yeah, so the female voices, in my honest opinion, not as good as the male voices. I don't know. Maybe they had more experienced voice actors for the male ones, but I personally preferred the male's delivery. This felt a little weaker, a little flatter. But, I mean, there they are. They're okay, I guess. Uh, here we go. We are... Customizing Kristen Stewart from Twilight. <laughs> okay, uh, the faces. These are important choices. I mentioned this on the male side. This is probably your single most impactful choice. You are picking your face structure. You are picking your ethnicity, and you are picking the skin tones you can have available. That's Kristen Stewart. Hell yes, man. Okay, you are picking basically all the important stuff here. The way it works is you got a skin tone slider, and when you're on a darker face here, then you can go darker, and your and your lighter skin tone is quite a bit darker than the lighter skin tone on these ones. You see what I'm saying? So you take this one, you slide it all the way up. That's pretty pale. Uh, same for this one over here. But you take the darker one and you slide it all the way up and it's like, you know, it's like the default on this one. You've got a different color tone and warmth to it. You've got a different color entirely, basically. And then you still have the skin tone that you can slide here. It's not a great system. 
personally i think it's kind of mm, but i mean it it does the job and with the face structure you basically get in a skin tone that fits with it so it makes sense uh we're gonna take her just because uh does she look more like christmas Stewart or does she i think she's the one eye colors let's have a look and and yeah this is a randomized button it randomly picks one of these for you so <laughs> so there you go uh there that's the one we wanted anyway eye colors probably one of the most impressive parts of this character creator <laughs> i just i i like the eye colors that they have i think that they are bright vibrant full of life unlike the rest of the character that we're busy customizing uh i'm sorry i'm sorry kristen stewart you weren't all that good an actress when you did twilight okay so here it is uh, that's what you got and it's okay it's okay you got like eight colors it's fine it's fine. I don't like the slider system that they have here, but uh, yeah, I mean, the colors themselves are pretty good. Next up, we have the skin options. You get to pick some scars, you know, for if you had a tussle with the werewolf or something. Uh, yeah, they, they're pretty okay. They look all right. I said on the male side that I was impressed. These, these uh, markings and stuff look okay as well, uh, and these grizzly looking scars, I mean, yeah, they seem to be done reasonably all right. Uh, there's no slider to to make them darker or lighter, you know, uh, but I think that the way that they've implemented this is it's good I'll give it a thumbs up and and say no more. That's it. It looks all right. Yeah, it looks realistic uh, I do feel like the Different skin colors obviously make a difference as well. The age slider is Yeah It's an afterthought. It's nothing really like it barely. It's like you can see a couple of wrinkles It's barely really doing anything. Honestly. It's barely doing anything. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like half a TikTok filter. Not even, like a quarter. It's like a bad TikTok filter. Freckles are nice. Uh, they look okay. Uh, I mentioned that I would have liked to have had a choice of where they are on the face, but yeah, overall it's still okay. Uh, they're, they're fine. They're fine. Tattoos? Uh, yeah, I mean, these are these are tattoos. They, <laughs> these are tattoos, all right. Yeah, I can say that about them. These are definitely tattoos. No rhyme or reason to the choices that we have here. Uh, they are just tattoos. Randomly picked probably from some stock uh, imagery on the internet. I don't know why they did this. It's like they got some sort of half uh, tribally types. Then they got like some cyberpunky ones. Then they got some prison tats. And then they got some like random words. And it's like, it's whatever, man. Tattoos suck. No one uses them anyway. You can set the color. Okay, maybe some people do. You can set the depth. That's the opacity. And then you can set the color. There are some decent choices here. Uh, the colors are okay. I would have liked to have seen white, uh, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, there they are. There they are. Those are your choices. And that's the end of the uh, face stuff. Let's move on to the makeup. The makeup here, boom, is different for for some basically inexplicable reason than what the males get. You do not get the same ones here as the males. I, I do not understand it. I mean, like, are these feminine looking to you? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I would have loved to have seen these on the male because some of these are nicer. I mean, there are one or two on the male side that I think are quite good. But basically, these are unique to female. You don't have these ones on male. Uh, and I like them. I think they look okay. This is, this is to me, way nicer than what the males have. And it's way nicer than the tattoos. And it's way nicer than, like, a lot of the other stuff in this. And I love the way that they've done this. I mentioned this as well when I was doing the male side, that I love the way that it sort of realistically builds up as you actually apply more paint to the face. I think it's incredibly well done, uh, and it's one of the nicest things in this character creator. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like it. I mean, I see a lot of these character creators, and I think it looks good. Uh, yeah, there are some interesting styles that you could come up with here. So there you go. Those are the face paints. Uh, and if we move on to the... And I showed you the colors, basically. It's, a, it's the same slider as the tattoos, I would say. Then we're gonna move on. I'll take this. I'll take this off. Uh, well, I guess you can't really have these and those on at the same time. These are the makeup options. These ones you actually get a few more choices. Uh, you get to choose the color here, right? Same colors as before, but you get to actually add a metallic set into it, which I absolutely adore. I, I for some reason I've got like a thing with this. I really think that this it fits well in a lot of character creators. I generally also tend to like to pair these with like a darker skin tone and it looks really cool. Uh, but the metallic looks nice. Once you add the gloss to the metallic it ruins it. Uh, and if you take the metallic off and just have the gloss it looks all right but it looks again like there's some shading missing there so it's sort of eh you know. It's sort of eh. Basically go for the metallic. The metallic looks nice. That's that's my tip to you. All right. Then if you're done with all of that you can do the lips. You pull the brightness all the way up. You don't get to choose how the lipstick is applied, but you get to do this. Then you get to choose the color. 
that's it those are your colors and then you get to do basically if you want it metallic the metallic effect is slightly less on the lips which is unfortunate or if you can have it glossy if you want oh i guess that's because i have the gloss up let's see ah, i mean it's still slightly less but yeah it looks all right and there's some decent options here if that's what you want hair there are some hairstyles here that are on the male side but these are mostly unique there are some however like i said that crossover like this one and they are for a female character relatively lackluster they are relatively poor these are not great hairstyles i thought that on the male characters it was okay and you still had the beard to pair with it but with female you know just having this option we've somehow made uh, avril lavigne maybe uh, just having these options is kind of bad and the colors they suck there's nothing there's no way to like really sugarcoat this nothing great to say about this the colors are terrible like it's all washed out and that's it that's it that 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 that's it we're done uh, we are finished and you have seen all there is to see there you go isn't this the main character from Forspoken or whatever that game was? I don't know. Listen. Listen. In the outro here, I'm going to say, I never expected to make this video. So, for that reason alone, I am happy with everything I saw here. <laughs> look, look, look. I'm going to be honest. The character models, they're all right. There's, there's, there's a bit of shading that I feel is missing. And it's not like I set the graphics wrong. I did set the graphics all the way to max. It's all pushed up i've even got dlaa on to make it look a little nicer around the edges listen listen it's looking good but there's just a little bit missing that they could put in there to make it look way better okay the amount of options we have here look it's on the lackluster side okay it, it's not amazing there are some parts of this that are adequate and there are other parts that are just like why even bother uh and it just seems like they didn't really have a, a clear and defined direction with most of what they did here. All right. Yeah, I got like a little happy and excited about a few things, but for the most part, it's just a pretty poor character creator. Uh, I liked what they did with the classes and the personality here. Uh, that that was at first a little confusing, but then I then I read it all and I was like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Like here's here's what I'll say. Look at the thumbnail that I'm gonna put. On this video and look at the contrast that I'm gonna use on that and then imagine that's in the game just do that for me do that just go back press the back button in your browser look at the thumbnail look at the thumbnail that I used and imagine that in the game it would look a hundred times better you know why because I look at the picture and I'm like wow this is washed out this looks terrible crank it up yeah dude pull the saturation up a little bit okay mix the levels a little bit so that your docks are darker Get the contrast a little higher yes pull that vibrance up a little bit boom now now you now you're looking good they should have done that on this i'm sorry i have a lot to say about this but overall it's just okay i guess it's just okay it's a little uninspired but hey there you go at least the game released it is in early access so maybe when they fully release this it'll have more let's hope so guys please dig in lay into it in the comments section let me know Honest impressions, game, character creator, models, all of it. Well, at least she's got some boobs, right? I don't know, man. Actually, the character looks quite nice. I'm going to be real with you here. This character looks okay. Most of this actually looks all right here. Um, but yeah, lay into it, dude. Come on. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Male characters, female characters, uh, options available. Just tell me. Tell me and be brutally honest. Uh, tell me how you agree with me that each one of these guys looks like he could be the rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> they used him as a model here. I'm, I'm almost certain of it. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I had fun. Thank you for having fun with me if you had fun too. That was awesome. Yeah, I would do it again. That's, that's something for me that I consider a win. I enjoyed my time in this character creator. So there you go. Check back here soon for more. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Hey, if you want to support me, my Twitch stream is below. You can come and watch there. Uh, my coffee page is below. You can throw money at me on that thing. It's cool. Uh, I like money. Who doesn't? All right. Subscribe, dudes, if you haven't already. Check back here soon for those other videos. Those new ones, you know? <laughs> Happy that. Happy making those characters. <laughs> God, I had, I had a lot of fun, okay? <laughs> Happy that.